Have you ever pondered the state of our current transportation systems and the challenges they face? From the humble bicycle to the high-speed bullet train, transportation has come a long way. However, as we zoom into the 24th century, our current transportation systems seem to be stuck in a bit of a rut. Traffic congestion, pollution, and time inefficiency are the gnarled roots of a tree that's in desperate need of pruning. Let's take a drive down the highway of these issues, shall we? First stop, traffic congestion. It's the bane of our existence, isn't it? The endless hours spent in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic are not just a test of patience, but also a significant contributor to stress. And it's not just about the wasted time. The economic cost in terms of lost productivity and increased transportation costs is staggering. Next, we encounter pollution, the invisible villain of our story. As our vehicles belch out carbon dioxide and other harmful pollutants, we're not just choking our planet, but also ourselves. Air pollution from transportation contributes to various health problems, from respiratory issues to cardiovascular diseases. Not to mention, it's a significant driver of climate change. Finally, we reach time inefficiency. In our fast-paced world, time is the new currency. Yet we're losing precious hours stuck in traffic or waiting for delayed flights. The current state of transportation is a time thief, robbing us of moments that could be spent on more productive or enjoyable pursuits. These issues impact more than just our daily lives. They ripple out, affecting our societies, economies, and the environment. They're like a trio of termites, gnawing away at the foundations of our world. It's clear that our transportation systems are in need of a major overhaul. The question is, what form should this revolution take? How can we design a system that's faster, cleaner, and more efficient than anything we've seen before? Isn't it about time we evolved our transportation systems to overcome these challenges? Let's fasten our seatbelts and prepare for an exciting journey into the future of transportation, the enigma of the Hyperloop. Imagine a world where you could travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 30 minutes. Welcome to the future of transportation, the Hyperloop. Hyperloop is more than just a concept. It's a revolutionary transportation system that's on the brink of transforming the way we commute. Picture this, a sleek, capsule-like pod swiftly gliding through a vacuum tube at speeds that would make even the fastest bullet train blush. It's not science fiction, it's the Hyperloop. At its core, Hyperloop is a high-speed travel method that moves passengers in pods through a vacuum tube. The absence of air resistance in the tube allows these pods to reach incredible speeds, making journeys that would usually take hours, possible in mere minutes. It's like having your very own personal jet stream but on the ground. But it's not just about speed. The Hyperloop system is designed to be efficient and sustainable. Powered by a combination of solar energy and other renewable sources, it aims to leave a minimal carbon footprint. It's high-speed travel, but with a conscience. Moreover, the Hyperloop promises to revolutionize not just how we travel, but how we live. By drastically reducing travel times, it could change where we choose to live, work, or even vacation. It's a transportation revolution that could redefine our perception of distance and time. The beauty of Hyperloop, however, lies in its simplicity. At a glance, it's a tube and a pod. But behind this simplicity lies a complex interplay of physics, engineering, and technology, all working together to achieve one goal, to move people quickly, safely, and sustainably. So welcome to a future where your morning commute may no longer be limited by highways and traffic jams. Welcome to a world where distance is measured not in miles, but in minutes. Welcome to the era of the Hyperloop, where we're not just breaking speed limits, we're redefining them. So how did this seemingly futuristic concept come into existence? Our journey begins in the year 2012 with Elon Musk. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and co-founder of Tesla, is known for his innovative ideas and ambitious projects. However, in 2012, he surprised everyone by mentioning a totally new concept in the field of transportation, the Hyperloop. Musk described it as a cross between a Concorde, a railgun, and an air hockey table. The idea was to create a mode of transport that could reach high speeds, reduce travel time, and be environmentally friendly at the same time. The year 2013 marked the release of what Musk called the Alpha Level Concept. This was a 57-page document detailing the design, functionality, and economics of the Hyperloop. This white paper was made open source, meaning it was available for anyone to use or modify. Musk's idea was not to build the Hyperloop himself, but to spur interest and innovation from others. 
The paper outlined a proposed route from Los Angeles to San Francisco, which would cut the travel time down to a mere 30 minutes. In 2014, the baton was picked up by two startups, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, HTT, and Hyperloop One. Both companies set out to turn Musk's concept into a reality. HTT focused on a crowdsourcing model, attracting engineers from around the world to contribute to the project in exchange for stock options. Hyperloop One, on the other hand, secured significant funding from investors to build a functional prototype. Then came the year 2016, a milestone year for the Hyperloop. Hyperloop One conducted its first public test in Nevada. The sled, as it was called, reached a speed of 116 miles per hour in just 1.1 seconds. Although this was far from the proposed 700 miles per hour, it was a significant step in proving the Hyperloop technology. Meanwhile, HTT announced a partnership with the Slovakian government in the same year, with plans to build a Hyperloop connecting Bratislava, Slovakia, with Vienna, Austria, and Budapest, Hungary. This marked the first instance of governmental interest in the Hyperloop concept, highlighting its potential to revolutionize international travel. In 2017, we saw another crucial development. The Virgin Group, led by Richard Branson, invested in Hyperloop One, rebranding it as Virgin Hyperloop. With this, the project gained even more momentum and credibility. The following year, in 2018, Musk himself got back into the game with the Boring Company. Musk proposed an urban loop system, which would serve as a network of tunnels for private vehicles and Hyperloop pods. This was a shift from the original intercity concept towards a more urban, intracity focus. By 2019, more and more countries started showing interest in the Hyperloop. Feasibility studies were conducted in countries like India and the United Arab Emirates. The same year, Virgin Hyperloop unveiled the XP-1, the first full-scale passenger pod, marking a significant step towards passenger-ready Hyperloop. Fast forward to today, and we find ourselves amidst an array of Hyperloop developments. Virgin Hyperloop conducted the first passenger test in November 2020. Although it only reached a speed of 107 miles per hour, it was a crucial proof of concept for passenger safety and comfort. On the other hand, the Boring Company completed its first tunnel in Las Vegas in 2021. It aims to build an entire network of such tunnels, providing a new, efficient way of city commuting. In a span of just over a decade, the Hyperloop has evolved from a futuristic concept to a tangible reality. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of innovation. From a mere concept to a working prototype, the Hyperloop has come a long way. But what does it hold for the future? This is the question that leaves us in suspense, eagerly waiting to see how this revolutionary mode of transportation will shape the way we travel in the years to come. A future where we zoom through vacuum tubes at speeds over 700 miles per hour is not so far away. Imagine a world where the constraints of distance and time are shattered by a new mode of transportation. A world where you can have breakfast in New York, a business meeting in Los Angeles, and be back home for dinner, all without setting foot on an airplane. This is the world that the Hyperloop promises to deliver. Hyperloop, a concept first introduced by tech mogul Elon Musk in 2013, is a proposed mode of passenger and freight transportation that has the potential to revolutionize the way we travel. It's a system that could whisk passengers and cargo in pods through a vacuum tube at speeds that would make a Formula One car look like a snail. But what does the future hold for the Hyperloop? Let's dive into its potential impact on society and the environment. Firstly, the Hyperloop has the potential to drastically reduce travel times. Today, a flight from New York to Los Angeles takes about six hours. With the Hyperloop, that journey could be reduced to a mere 45 minutes. You could literally live on one coast and work on the other, completely reshaping our concept of a daily commute. Reducing travel times isn't just about convenience. It could have profound economic implications. With the ability to transport goods at high speeds, the Hyperloop could revolutionize logistics, making it faster and more efficient. It could boost trade, stimulate economic growth, and create new job opportunities. But the benefits of the Hyperloop go beyond economics. It could also be a game changer for the environment. Unlike traditional modes of transportation, the Hyperloop would be powered by renewable energy, making it a zero emission system. It's a solution that marries speed and efficiency with environmental sustainability. The Hyperloop could also foster a more interconnected world. By making long distance travel fast and affordable, it could bring people closer together, both literally and figuratively. 
It could make it easier for people to explore new places, experience new cultures, and forge new connections. It's a technology that could make the world feel a little bit smaller. Of course, the road to making the Hyperloop a reality is filled with challenges. There are technological hurdles to overcome, regulatory approvals to secure, and large-scale infrastructure to build. But if these challenges can be overcome, the Hyperloop could usher in a new era of transportation. But it's not just about the Hyperloop itself. It's about what the Hyperloop represents. It's a symbol of human ingenuity and ambition. It's a testament to our relentless pursuit of progress. It's a reminder that no matter how big the challenges we face, we have the power to overcome them and shape the future on our own terms. In a world where climate change is a looming threat and urban congestion is a growing problem, the Hyperloop offers a glimmer of hope. It's a bold vision for a future where we can travel faster, live cleaner, and connect more deeply. It's a future where distance is no longer a barrier. The Hyperloop promises a future where distance is no longer a barrier. But how does it actually work? At the heart of the Hyperloop's lightning speed is a simple yet fascinating principle of physics. Imagine for a moment, if you will, a world where you could travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 35 minutes. That's faster than a commercial flight and without the long security lines, cramped seats, and bumpy air pockets. This is the promise of the Hyperloop. But how does this revolutionary mode of transport work? The Hyperloop operates on three basic principles. A vacuum tube to minimize air resistance, magnetic levitation to reduce friction, and propulsion to set the pod in motion. Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the vacuum tube. The Hyperloop isn't exactly a train and it isn't exactly a plane, but it borrows principles from both. Much like an airplane, the Hyperloop relies on reducing air resistance to achieve high speeds. But instead of flying high above the Earth where the air is thinner, the Hyperloop shoots through a tube from which most of the air has been removed, creating a near vacuum environment. This drastically reduces air resistance, allowing the pod to travel at phenomenal speeds while using less energy. Now let's move on to the second principle, magnetic levitation, often referred to as maglev. If you've ever played with magnets, you know that opposite poles attract and like poles repel. The Hyperloop uses this basic principle to its advantage. The pod is equipped with magnets and the track has a magnetic field. When the pod's magnets interact with the magnetic field of the track, they create a powerful repulsive force that lifts the pod off the track. This levitation eliminates friction that usually comes with wheel-on-track systems, allowing the pod to glide smoothly and maintain high speeds for longer distances. Finally, we've got propulsion. The Hyperloop uses a linear electric motor to propel the pod forward. Unlike traditional motors that spin, a linear motor moves in a straight line. In the Hyperloop, the stator, which is the stationary part of the motor, is placed on the track, and the rotor, which is the moving part, is placed on the pod. When electricity is supplied, it creates a magnetic field that propels the pod forward. But how do we stop this high-speed pod? Well, the Hyperloop employs regenerative braking, a method commonly used in electric vehicles. When the brakes are applied, the motor runs in reverse, slowing down the pod and simultaneously generating electricity that can be fed back into the system. This not only makes the braking process efficient, but also contributes to the energy efficiency of the system. It's also worth noting that the Hyperloop is designed to be powered by renewable energy. The tube can be outfitted with solar panels, and the system's energy-efficient design means it could potentially generate more power than it uses, making it not just fast, but also sustainable. So what does a ride in the Hyperloop feel like? Despite the high speeds, the experience should be pretty comfortable. The near-vacuum environment eliminates turbulence, and the linear acceleration should feel no different than taking off in a plane. And with no traffic to contend with, it should be a smooth ride from start to finish. In essence, the Hyperloop combines principles from aviation and rail transport to create a system that is incredibly fast, energy efficient, and comfortable. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of physics. But as with any groundbreaking technology, there are challenges to overcome. The cost of constructing a Hyperloop system is high, and the technology needs to be tested and refined to ensure it's safe and reliable. There are also regulatory hurdles to clear, as this new mode of transport doesn't fit neatly into existing categories. However, if these challenges can be surmounted, the Hyperloop has the potential to revolutionize our transport systems, making long-distance travel quick, convenient, and sustainable. 
So there you have it, the science that could propel us into a new age of transportation. Today, we've journeyed from the congested highways of our present to the high-speed vacuum tubes of our potential future. We started off by acknowledging the state of transportation as we currently know it, the hustle and bustle of overcrowded highways, the agonizingly slow creep of gridlock traffic, and the carbon-heavy footprint of our conventional modes of travel. We've painted a vivid picture of the present, a tableau of inefficiency and frustration, an urgent call for change. And then we introduced you to a beacon of change, the Hyperloop. This isn't just a fancy moniker, it's a revolution in the making. The Hyperloop with its promise of rapid, efficient, and eco-friendly transportation is poised to change the way we perceive distance and time. It's a concept that takes us beyond the realm of high-speed trains and into the world of near supersonic travel. We trace the timeline of the Hyperloop, a journey that started with a white paper by Elon Musk in 2013. It's a timeline filled with incredible milestones, from the initial concept to the first successful tests. We've seen how this ambitious idea has evolved, how it's been nurtured and developed by brilliant minds, and how it's inching closer to becoming a reality. We've also delved into the future of the Hyperloop, a future where a trip from Los Angeles to San Francisco could take a mere 30 minutes. We've discussed the potential impact of such speed on our daily lives, on our cities, and on our planet. We've pondered the possibilities of a world where distance is no longer a barrier, where we can live in one city and work in another, hundreds of miles away, all thanks to the Hyperloop. Finally, we've broken down the workings of the Hyperloop, demystifying the science behind the speed. We've explained how the system would propel pods through a near vacuum tube, eliminating air resistance and friction. We've clarified how magnetic levitation would allow for a smooth, silent ride, and how solar power could make the entire system sustainable and eco-friendly. The Hyperloop, as we've explored, is more than just a revolutionary transportation system. It's a symbol of human ingenuity, a testament to our relentless pursuit of progress. It poses challenges, but it also presents opportunities, opportunities to redefine transportation, to reduce our carbon footprint, and to usher in a new era of travel. But as with any groundbreaking innovation, the Hyperloop isn't without its hurdles. There are technical challenges to overcome, regulatory frameworks to navigate, and public acceptance to cultivate. Yet the progress we've seen so far gives us reason to be optimistic. We've seen what we can achieve when we dare to dream, when we push the boundaries of what's possible. As we wrap up this journey, let's remember that the Hyperloop isn't just about getting from point A to point B faster. It's about reimagining what's possible. It's about challenging the status quo. It's about turning science fiction into science fact. And as we stand on the brink of this transportation revolution, one thing is clear. The future of travel is closer than we think.